So these are little tricks. Um, you don't have to know these, but they do help. They're nice little tiny tricks. So we're going to try subtracting by turning everything into sine and cosine. So when you have secant, cosecant, tangent, cotangent, these are quotient reciprocal identities. And so what they do is they create fractions. So if we take that tangent squared theta, so it becomes this, and replace the tangent with its identity of sine theta over cosine theta, what we're doing is actually creating a fraction. So looking at one minus tangent squared theta, we don't really know what to do. Yeah, there are Pythagorean identities for secant, but this is another, another trick. So what we can now do is add it because we have made a fraction. So this would work with cosecant or secant or cotangent as well, but you make it into a fraction. And so this would then be multiplied top and bottom by cosine squared theta, cosine squared theta. And we end up with cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta all over cosine squared theta. And then we can now use Pythagorean identities on it and keep going from there. So it's another trick. Remember you try it. If it doesn't work, you move on to something else. The other one is to split up into multiples. So when you see a number in front of it, a quantity, that means that you have that many of them. So we here have two cosine squared thetas. So we can actually make it into two cosine squared thetas. So we just do the reverse of adding and split it up. We use the rule for multiplication. So we have two of them. So you try that. And then now you can see here, oh, look, sine squared plus cosine squared. Well, that is one plus cosine squared theta. And you could even then come over here and say, well, cosine squared theta is one minus sine squared theta and keep going. We also now know that sine squared and cosine squared is one. So if you see one, that means you can actually replace it with sine squared plus cosine squared theta. So you can take your one and replace it with this. You can work in reverse in any order. And now you can see that the sine squared and the cosine squared cancel. The sine squared and the sine squared cancel, giving us cosine squared theta. So that's a trick too, replacing a one. The other one is to introduce a zero. This is a, a very tricky one, but it, it's not really tricky, but it's just a basic idea. Like if you have two take away two, that is the same as zero. So you can replace zero with two minus two. You can also introduce a sine theta as long as you introduce a negative sine theta because that is zero. So if I wanted to introduce a one here with cosine squared theta, that would become cosine squared theta plus one, but then if I put a plus one, I have to put a minus one and everything now works. So now I can, I have my one, my negative one and my positive cosine squared theta that I could use a Pythagorean identity on, All right? So if you have one, you can replace it. If you have a multiple, you can split them up. If you see reciprocal identities, change it, it makes fractions so that you can add them. And you can introduce anything you want to it as long as you put the minus on there to cancel it right back out. It's the almighty zero. You can introduce also a multiple of one. So like sine theta over sine theta and cosine theta over cosine theta, right? You just have to make sure that you mention when these are zero. So like sine theta is zero at zero. So as long as that issue doesn't happen, you're fine. So if you look at this, we have one minus sine theta and we want to make this. Well, our denominator is cosine theta. So if you introduce a cosine theta and a cosine theta, we now just introduced that denominator. See? And so now if we distribute it by just putting a one under this, you get cosine theta minus cosine theta top sine theta over cosine theta. And so it gives us what we want. So sometimes it's just looking to see what you need. Oh, it's not a fraction. So let's just put a one under it, put a fraction bar there and make it a fraction by giving the denominator. These are just tricks, they're modifying. So as long as you stick with the rules of math, it's gonna work out. Thank you.